So in the last couple of weeks, we actually hit a couple of milestones. First of all, we now cross 3 million downloads per week on NPM. We just crossed the 1 million beginning of this year, then 2 millions in June, and now a couple of weeks ago, we finally hit the 3 millions. And so this also confirms that we are on the right track. People love NX and NX Cloud, and so we should push forward much faster than we did so far. And so the exciting part here is that we actually raised the first round of funding a couple of weeks ago, together with our partners Nexus and A16C for 8 to 6 million. And so this will allow us to have most of our team on NX full time. And you can already see it in this release. So in this release, we have new standalone product support. We integrated VIT and VTest. We have a new task graph visualization that directly integrates into the project graph. We have new NX init command that allows you to easily migrate to NX. We have root level scripts, and we also simplified our run commands. Ready? Here is all you need to know. The ability to visually explore the structure of your workspace by using the NX graph is something people love. In this release, we also allow you to visualize your task dependencies and your task pipeline. If you run NX graph, at the top left corner, you now have a dropdown that allows you to switch to the tasks and visualize the same way as you would do with the projects. You can even group them by project and see which build tasks are inside the same project and if you click on them, even what type of task you're running. Now, NX is widely known for being able to handle really large monorepos. But one of the main aspects that people have really appreciated about NX and how it works is even just for structuring your application. So a lot of our users actually never had multiple apps in their monorepo setups. They mainly leverage NX capability to split up your code in multiple libraries very easily and thus structure your code much more nicely. So that's why we now introduced a new type of project we call standalone projects. So when you run now create NX workspace, you will, apart from the monorepo setup, also have two new options, which is the standalone React app and the standalone Angular app, and there might be more coming. Once the setup is complete, you can already see that you don't have the typical app structure, but rather you have a source folder at the root level, which is your application. That also means you can just run NX surf and it will run your application because there's literally just one in your workspace. Similarly, obviously this works with NX build, or NX test as well. And you can obviously create new libraries just as you did before. So just give it the directory, which in this case is libs, and it will generate a new library into that libs folder, which you can then easily import in your application thanks to the TypeScript path mappings that have been generated during the library creation. And so this will allow people to actually modularize their applications, even if they just have one, and benefit from being able to run just a test for a single library, run linting for a single library, obviously also leverage the whole caching that comes with it, but also features such as the graph for exploring the structure of your application. Now, this is something a lot of people have asked us about, native VIT and VTest support. Now, to be fair, in a package-based monorepo setup, you could already use it with NX. NX in such a setup does really just schedule your task, add caching, but it doesn't really care what your NPM scripts run. Now, what we added here is a native VIT plugin that you can use in an integrated setup with NX. And so if you generate now a new standalone React project, you already get VIT support out of the box. And you can see that here in that VIT config, which has all the configuration for running VIT with React specifically in this setup here, plus all the config that is needed for running VIT test. You can also see it in the project JSON here, which now uses the novel VIT build plugin as well as the VIT dev server for running and serving your application. Now, if you are in a monorepo setup with NX, you can obviously just generate a new VIT based app. Now, if you have NX console installed, it's even easier because you just really run NX generate here react vid as the bundler. Obviously, you can also just copy that command and run it on your own directly via the console and CLI. And so what this will give you is a new vid based setup inside your existing monorepo. But what about if you have already a React application inside an NX monorepo? So in this case, for instance, I have a store app here that uses still the novel Webpack setup, which is totally fine, but you can actually also migrate that. And this can be done with a single command. So what I can do here is run npx generate novel vid configuration. I give it the project, which is here store, and I will now run the migration to vid. And so what will happen here is it will 
generate a new vid config just as you would expect. It moves the index HTML out here to the very root, which is a typical setup for vid based projects. And it also changed the executor that is being used for building and serving and running your application. And talking about migrations, it gets even better. So assume you're still using a create react application with Webpack, but you would want to leverage Vite. Well, there's good news. In a create react app setup like this one here, I can just go and run npx nx at latest in it. And what nx will do is would analyze your workspace, understand this is a create react app and automatically migrate you to nx with react and V support and V test support. So once the migration completes, you can already see that the scripts have been rewritten to use Vite. There's also this NX exec in front, and this allows you to leverage the NX pipeline for caching, meaning that you can just run npm run build. It would now obviously run Vite for building your project, but it also runs through the NX pipeline. And so if I rerun the same command, it would be cached now. So the nx init command is really the only command that you need to remember whenever it comes to migrating to an nx based workspace setup. This works as we have seen for a create react app setup for an angular CLI setup. This also works to add nx to an existing mon repo that is package based to leverage caching and speeding it up. And this also works on any project really also non mon repo projects. So here, for instance, I have a quick based setup that has been generated with the quick CLI. I just run NX latest in it again. It will ask me a couple of questions by looking at the current setup that I have at hand. Basically, what operations are cacheable from the NPM scripts. I choose the ones that I want to make cacheable and NX automatically transforms my workspace to add NX as its dependency and its cloud if I opt in to have the distributed caching. And it also wraps the workspace again with the NX exec to leverage the caching capabilities of NX. Another feature that we added that was much requested is root level scripts. So normally in a workspace that is an integrated setup where you use the plugins from NX, you have all the operations tied to an actual project. So usually you run the build on that project or the tests for that project. But sometimes you have scripts that are kind of spanning across the workspace, utility scripts that prepare your workspace or do something where you would still want to run them through an X for leveraging the caching and all the affected commands. So here, for instance, I have in the tools folder, just a simple script that really just writes a file to the file system. And so to enable root level scripts, all I need to do is to add an NX object node into the package JSON such that NX understands this is now a project that it should take care of. With that, I can already run it through NX, so I could run NX my script instead of running npm run my script. Now, obviously, if you want to make this cacheable, we should go into NX JSON and add this custom script to the cacheable operations. And we can also kind of customize more our caching in terms of, for instance, giving us a custom output path, such as in this case, direct into the tools folder and to this folder there. And we also simplify the usage of our NX run commands whenever you want to basically integrate your custom scripts into a project JSON file. So instead of having to define the executor, which is NX colon run commands, and then giving the command in the options, you can now simplify it to just having the command property and the actual command. So that's it for this release. Definitely have a look in the description for the link to the detailed blog post and links to videos which go in much more detail for all of the features that I just mentioned. Hope you enjoyed this one. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next one.